now let's see what will be the final output so now the x key will be changed here it will be the 2 pi fc is equal to the 1 upon 2 pi of course it will be the 10,000 into 47 nanofarad that will be almost equivalent to the 338.6 ohm only okay so similarly if we put this value xc in our formula so the v naught will become 338.6 ohm upon under root square 4700 square plus 338.6 ohm square into 10 that will be the almost equivalent to the 0 0.718 volt so initially our input was almost the 10 volt now at the 10 kilohertz it has become a only the 718 millivolt so we can see from the result above so that as the frequency applied to the RC network increases from 100 hertz to the 10 kilohertz the voltage dropped across the capacitors and therefore the output voltage V out from the circuit decreases from 9.9 volt to 0 0.718 volt so uh, if we calculate the gain into the dv so the gain will be the 20 log v out upon v in and uh, if we plot the board plot of the low pass filter it will become something like this non-ideal filters of course we cannot implement the ideal filters okay so there will be the smooth transition of course it is a passive low pass filter so here the gain will be the 0 dB and uh, this one will be the minus 3 dB cutoff frequency so it is the FC and uh, before the FC this one will be known as passband and the after FC this frequency region will be known as a stop band so overall this passband also known as the bandwidth of the filter up to the, this point and this is the FC will be the into the log scale and uh, the roll off will be the 20 dB per decade for a single pole filter the 20 dB per decade means the gain will be decreasing by a 20 dB per 10 times of the frequency and if we draw the phase response of the filter suppose that this is FC okay this is the FC and this one is F so the phase response will be something like this there will be a minus 45 degree lag so this one will be the 0 degree this one is minus 45 degree for a first order filter there will be minus 90 degree phase shift in the stop region stop band region okay so this is the gain so if we summarize this board plot so board plot has shows the frequency response of the total filter that is the nearly flat before the cutoff frequency fc 
and all of the input signal is passed directly to the output and resulting in the gain of the nearly one that is the called unity until it reaches until it reaches the cutoff frequency fc so this is because the reactance of the capacitor is high at a low frequency and block any current flow through the capacitor so after this cutoff frequency fc the response of the circuit decreases to the zero at the slope of the minus 20 db per decade or you can say also minus 6 db per octave roll off now here you can note that the angle of the slope is minus 20 db per decade will be always it doesn't depend the value of the resistors or capacitors so any high frequency signal applied to the low pass filter circuit above this cutoff frequency point will be become greatly attenuated that is they rapidly decreases so this happens because at very high frequency the reactance of the capacitors becomes so low that it gives the effect of the short circuit condition on the output terminal of the resulting in zero output so for this type of the low pass filter circuit all the frequency below the cutoff frequency fc that are unaltered with the little or no attenuation and are said to be the filter pass band zone and this pass band zone also represent the bandwidth of the filter so any signal frequency above this point cutoff points are generally said to be in the filter stop band zone and they will be greatly attenuated so the cutoff or a corner or a breakpoint frequency is defined as being the frequency point where the capacitive reactance and the resistance will be the so same so the xc and the r will be the same at f is equal to the fc so of course this is also known as a minus 3 db or you can say the output will be the 0 0.707 times of the input or you can say 70.7 percent of input so if we calculate the cutoff frequency of this low pass fi filter fc is equal to the 1 upon 2 pi rc and of course we have already assumed our resistor and capacitors resistor 4.7 kilo ohm and the capacitor 47 nanofarad so it will become a 2 pi into 4700 into the 47 into 10 power minus 9 farad so the fc will become something 720 hertz minus 3 db cutoff frequency and the phase shift phi at fc how we can calculate minus 10 inverse 2 pi f into rc so at f is equal to so if we calculate f is equal to the fc that is 1 upon 2 pi rc if we put phi if we put value of f into the phi it will become minus 10 inverse the 2 pi f f becomes 1 upon 2 pi rc into rc so it becomes how much minus 10 inverse 1 that is minus 45 degree so now so now so far we have seen that simple first order rc low pass filter can be made by the connecting a single resistors and capacitor in series with a single capacitor so this single pole arrangement give us a role of the slope of minus 20 db per decade attenuation of frequencies above the cutoff point of 3 db however sometimes in a filter circuit this minus 20 db per decade angle of slope may not be the enough to remove an unwanted signal then we implement a two stage filtering that is here shown below r1 c1 in series and r2 and c2 in the series the voltage 
of the first stage taken across the capacitor C1 and the voltage of the second stage taken across the capacitor C2. So this circuit uses the two passive first order low pass filters connected or you can say cascaded together to form a second order or two pole filter networks. So therefore we can see that the first order low pass filter can be converted into the second order type by simply adding an additional RC network to it. So the more RC stage we add the higher become the filter order. So if a number n of such stages, if we add n number of such stages, it becomes the nth order filter. So for example, a second order filter would have a slope of the minus 40 dB per decade. Okay, or you can say a minus 12 dB per octave. Okay, so a fourth order filter would have a slope of the minus 